Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. And today we're going to discuss the new iTunes update, iTunes 12.2, which includes Apple Music, along with your iOS 8.4 update that everybody most likely received um, within uh, actually the past two or three days. So let's go ahead and first, you can, the way you're going to receive the iTunes update is you're going to go to your App Store and go to the App Updates tab and make sure you're signed in to your account of course and then you'll see the update there now for example if you don't have the update there or you're unable to update it through the app store itself you can go online and you can go to apple.com I'll have a link in the description for you guys to download iTunes and you can go ahead and download iTunes 12.2 for OS 10 it has system requirements for example if you don't meet these requirements it's also available for Windows I, I should mention as well but um, if you don't meet these requirements, that's why you're unable to download the updates. But uh, you don't need to have these checked. You don't need to put in your email. You can just go ahead and simply hit download now and the download will begin just like this. So I'm, I'm actually gonna hit cancel because I don't need to cover that. So once you have the update, since I already got the update, I'm gonna go ahead and open up iTunes. As you can see, the entire logo is completely different, redesigned, it actually looks, I, I personally love the new look of the logo. And uh, the, I'm going to cover the quick main brief differences regarding um, within the new 12.2 iTunes. I'm going to go ahead and about iTunes, and I'll show you guys that I am running on iTunes 12.2.0.145 is the full version update. But here we are. We have uh, Apple, Apple Music and uh, Beats 1 here, which we can start listening now. I've already started my three-month trial. And I have also have another link in the description for you guys. I'll have a full in-depth detail video or tutorial of um, Apple Music and uh, everything that you can do, like right? manage your subscription and uh, setting up and all that. But uh, yeah, as you got, you, you have these, you'll notice you'll have my music, which you'll find all your music now in one, your purchase, your listening, recent, and then you got your normal playlist tab. You got the for you. Basically, it's giving you music gathered on the music you already have and what you like and uh, your uh, what you chose at the beginning of signing up with your subscription for Apple Music. Then you have new, everything that's basically new out as of right now. Um, radio, like I just said, as Beats 1, what you recently listened to and some additional stations here. And then Connect is almost like a social media point of this, um, Apple Music, where you can actually see what other people are posting. For example, here's some people I'm following as of right now. Then you got the standard iTunes store. But be sure to leave, um, be sure to click on the link in the description for a video of full in depth of the actual Apple Music for you guys. I'll be sure to cover more in that video. Thank you guys and later. So let my life